feel like the entirety of my tutorials that I've ever done on YouTube have led up to this moment here because I am so excited to film this. Hey guys, it's V and today we are going to be doing another one of my crystal eyes makeup tutorial series where I take inspiration from stones and crystals and different gemstones and today is that day where I'm going to be doing an opal look. You guys know that opal is my obsession. I am always wearing opal rings. I have two opal rings that I constantly wear on these hands. I have an opal bracelet here that I always am wearing. Today I put on some opal earrings and a necklace for you guys. Opal is my all time favorite stone. I do not know why I was not born in October because I could have had it as my birthstone, but I didn't. But anyways, I am really, really, really excited. I'm going to be using a couple of really cool fun palettes. I'm going to be using the new Sigma Creme de Couture palette which I just recently bought. Couldn't pass that up. And of course the Moonchild and the Aura Glow Kits from Anastasia. So let's get into it. I'm so excited to do this tutorial for you guys. So let's zoom in on my face. If you're new to my tutorials, I do have everything listed down below in the description box that I use as far as what I already have on, foundation, um, concealer, brows, and eye primer. That will all be in there as well, so let's get started. First off, I'm going to be taking the new Sigma Creme de Couture palette, which honestly, this look, you guys, I have not necessarily planned out. Like, I have a thought process of what I'm going to do, but not completely, so it is going to be kind of on the fly figuring this out with you guys, but this palette is so cute and I love all the pastel colors sorry for my window causing little dots on there it's a weird time of day it's like I don't even know what time it is it's 11 in the morning wow that's like one of the earliest times I've ever been filming so but yeah I felt like the colors in this palette would be so perfect for an opal look because it's got the light pastel -y colors so I just I had to get this palette but I haven't used it yet so I'm excited to dip into it today with you guys so first off I'm going to take a fluffy blending brush here this one is It Cosmetics. I really like their just brushes in general. They have great brushes. Um, and I'm going to go into, I think, can't decide if I want to do blue chocolate or creme de menthe. I think I'm going to go into creme de menthe here. So this kind of like bluish greenish color kind of accomplishes the blue and green. But if you don't know what opal looks like, I'll pop up some pictures here. Of course, I am wearing it today, but it is just a beautiful dimension filled stone. It's so pretty. So I'm just going to pop this green in my crease. Wow, that is pigmented. I've never used Sigma anything actually before. This is my first Sigma product I've ever used. But wow, that is a really pigmented pastel shadow. That is impressive. And I did buy this palette with my own money, by the way. I did get a coupon for it, but I, uh, I did buy it with my own money. I just used, like I signed up for their emails and they gave me like a 30% off coupon and I was like, done, sold. I need this palette. <laughs> because I just have been wanting it so bad. It was so pretty and so unique. I'm just one of those people where I'm like, if I don't get it, I'm going to be so upset that I didn't get it because it's so unique. And so like, yeah, there's a ton of like warm, smoky palettes out there right now. And those don't really call to me. But like, when you show me something like this, I'm like, that is unique. I need to get that. And also just in case you are new to my channel, I am not a makeup artist. I am just a, like a lot of people say a makeup enthusiast. I just have so much fun playing with makeup and I started this series kind of just to have fun with inspiration and creating fun makeup looks and just doing things that were out of the box and different for me because I don't know I'm not like I'm adventurous but I'm not adventurous with my makeup so now I'm just gonna take my same brush and I'm gonna go into this blue chocolate color and I'm gonna kind of blend that in with that too just to give it a little bit more brightness is so freaking pretty. But there are so many different colors in opal that I'm like, I just feel like I could find something really interesting to do with this. And I have an idea in mind. I just have never practiced it. Honestly, when I do makeup tutorials, I hardly ever practice them. Like I just on the fly do it and hope that things work out in my favor most of the time. Um, next, I am going to grab a like really small little detail brush and I'm going to take Violet Whip mixed with Lavender Honey, which 
those should definitely be switched I feel like like this one should be called lavender honey and this should be called violet what lavender whip and whatever you know what I'm saying this one is more lavender to me but whatever so I'm just gonna mix those two together just because I don't want something as dark as lavender honey but I don't want something as light as violet whip and I'm gonna blend that on my lower lash line here just because I didn't bring a whole lot of brushes over here. So if I'm going to get one dirty, I'm going to get a dirty with the matte color first. <laughs> just blending that all along the lower lash line. I am really like pleasantly surprised with the pigmentation of the Sigma palette so far. Like pastel colors, I'm sure, are not easy to get pigmented because they're so light but this has been doing really well so far so now that we got the fun matte colors down we are going to start getting into some duo chromes here so let's go ahead i've got some mac fix plus this is the little baby coconut version so i'm going to be using that a lot today okay that's that needs to go i need to move I need to move my scarf over here hold one moment fixed it <laughs> Sakari's so like, why are you on the stepladder, mom? Chill. Don't worry, I'm okay. Oh, okay, you want to come over? You want to come over? Come here. Come here, baby. Come here. What are you doing? Are you sad because your dad is at work? Are you sad because your dad's at work? I gave me a chance to go grab my Coke. So anyways, okay, back to the eye look. So now I am going to be taking the NYX eyeshadow base, and this is just the white one. And I'm gonna be using this to kind of help my duochromes pop a little bit more. So I'm gonna take this, this is by The Cream Shop. It's just a really, really flat brush and I'm just gonna get into this white base here and get quite a bit of that on my brush. And then I'm just going to dab that, kind of doing a cut crease, but I don't really do cut creases um, cause I don't know what I'm doing. So um, kind of carving out a little bit here but not like intensely, just a little. Gonna need some more product on my brush, but I'm also gonna bring this in my inner corner just to brighten up the inner corner as well. And I like when I'm doing this kind of thing, if I am doing somewhat of a cut crease, I like open my eye and just look at where it hits and go higher or lower if I need to. But you do need kind of a really flat, skinny brush for this because it just helps to carve out what you want to carve out you know what I mean and I'm just gonna do one eye at a time with this so that the base is still pretty sticky and we're gonna be doing liner too so that'll help it um, look a little bit better but okay so now I'm gonna go in with another little tiny E36 from Morphe. And I'm gonna be doing this differently on each eye just because with an opal, like they're very unique and different. Like they just, every single one is different. So on this eye, I'm first gonna take Lucky Clover, which is a duochrome green color. And I'm gonna get a bunch of that on my brush. And then I'm gonna spray it with some Fix Plus just to get it nice and poppy. I don't know what the word is. And I'm just gonna kind of place it on the eye just in a random spot that's perfect just place it like right there that's what i'm gonna do and then i'm gonna take another brush again a small little e36 type brush and i'm gonna go into pink heart again get a bunch of powder spray it and then i'm just gonna put this one up here and if you're trying to recreate this look, first of all, good luck, because I still don't know what I'm doing, like I said. Um, but just place it wherever. Just have fun with the placement of the colors. So then I'm going to take this one, which I had my purples on earlier. And I guess I'm going to go into, I'm going to go into Blue Moon, because that one is a really gorgeous color. It's like a steely gray. So pretty. And I'm going to spray that one. This is pretty redundant here. <laughs> and that one I'm going to take all along back here. And you can overlap it with the other one to just create another fun color. That works too. I think for the inner corner I'm going to go in with some purple. Since I only have three of these brushes, I'm going to reuse the same one. But I'm going to go into Purple Horseshoe here. And I'm going to coat that. And that's going to go... Ooh, wow, that one is really, really bright. That looks really cool. And then I'm gonna go in a little bit more with some of the pink heart shade and go right in that inner corner. Okay, 
So, I don't know if you guys can see, I'll try and move around, but you've got just a ton of different iridescentness going on in different areas. So, that looks really, really cool. I'm gonna go ahead and do the white base on the other eye real quick. Okay, so for this eye, I'm gonna start out with pink heart here. I'm gonna take that, load it up on my brush, and I'm gonna take that one up in this corner up here. Then I'm gonna go in with blue moon. Maybe do this one closer onto the inner corner part of this eye. Cause when you look at an opal, like it flashes so many different colors that that's what I'm trying to kind of emulate with this. Like I want you to be able to see something different with every direction of how you look. Okay, so then let's go in with green. So let's go in with the Lucky Clover shade. Let's put that one there. And let's put that one over here. And then let's take a little bit of Lucky Clover down here. Lucky Clover is all over this eye. I think I need to make Pink Heart a little bit more vibrant. To wipe away any fallout. I think that the eyeshadow part is pretty much done. So I'll get really up close so you guys can see it better. There we go, now you guys can really see. So we've got all different kinds of coloring going on here. I think it looks really, really cool. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with this liner and this is by NYX, it's their Vivid Brights in the shade Gunmetal. And this is a silver liner. So I kind of wanted this to emulate like the jewelry aspect. Like with my opal ring here, you can see it's got a silver band on it. So I kind of was thinking like silver, like jewelry kind of thing. And it would be a cool cat's eye color. So I'm gonna do a cat's eye with this here, but I've never used this before. So I got it in my Ipsy bag like forever ago. Ooh, that looks really cool though. Okay. So just painting on cat's eye here. This kind of applicator is not my favorite, but thankfully it is working for me today. That looks so cool. It's like glittery. That's a really pretty color. I like this. This liner is slightly hard to work with, but seems like if you just take your time with it, it's okay. I'm gonna take a little bit more of my Violet Whip and Lavender Honey concoction and go below my lash line just cause I got a little bit of the white down there and I want this part to be strictly purple. So I'm just going right under it and you know what? I'll take it a little bit under that one too. What? Almost looking Halloween-y, which I am totally okay with. You could totally do this as like a space, like fairy, I don't even know, alien. <laughs> you could add some fun like symbols to it and make it like an alien look, like that would be really cool. Okay, now I'm just gonna go in with the colors that I used first, which is the creme de menthe color. I'm gonna go in with that one on a smaller blending brush than what I used first. And I'm just gonna kind of add some more color, kind of define the cut crease a little bit more. Make it a little bit more pronounced. You know what I think I might do is just add a black line of liner right underneath the silver. Would that be cool? I'm gonna do that. Let me go grab my black liner. Okay, I'm gonna use the Anastasia Jet Waterproof color here, just with an angled brush, and I'm just gonna go right underneath that gunmetal color. Actually, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Eye Studio Black Gel Liner because that other one was dried up, so that one would not have worked for me. It wasn't applying any color, so that isn't gonna work. It's kinda cool, right? Maybe even drag it a little bit here. Not all the way though, just like a little bit. Just on the corner. Just smoke it right there. It looks a little weird in the viewfinder just cause you can't see the silver as much. Can you see it more there? Okay, so just to finish the eyes up, before I go ahead and put some mascara on, I am going to use the NYX Glitter Primer here, and I'm just going to put a little bit of that on my brush and put some of that in my inner corners. Just a little bit of that. And then I'm going to take the Unicorn Love Glitter from Violet Voss, and I'm just gonna take a tiny 
little dumpling of glitter. Just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. I feel like this look is like, I'm just going to add a little bit more of this. And a little bit more of this. And then maybe add some of this in there. But I like it so far. And for my waterline, I'm going to go in with the NYX Retractable White Eyeliner Pencil and just put that all in my waterline right here. And now let's go on to my face before I put mascara on as well. For contour, I'm going to be using the Fiona Styles Sheer Sculpting Palette in Light Medium just because this color is my everything and I really hope that the rumor that they're just doing new packaging comes soon because I'm gonna need another one of this color pretty soon and uh, yeah so I really hope that they are not actually closing their brand and that they are actually just repackaging because they have some really good makeup like I hear a lot of youtubers talk about stuff that they love from their brand so I'm like why are you closing your brand when you have such good stuff so I'm just contouring my face, doing a little tiny bit on the bottom of my nose because that's all the contour that my nose can take, trust me. <laughs> and then I am going to go in with this Etude House blush and this one is in Lovely Cookie Blusher Strawberry something. <laughs> but I got this in a like Korean um, subscription box. It's just a very, very light baby pink. And I'm just gonna put this on my cheeks. It is very, very light almost unnoticeable but it would go really really well with this look so that's why i wanted to go ahead and do it and this brush is from ebay i got it in my last ebay finds okay i feel like this is looking more and more halloween the more that i'm doing it but i plan on going out today so if uh, people don't like it then they don't like it and i don't care anyway so <laughs> for my highlight i'm gonna go in with the J Cat beauty uglo highlighter in the shade bella rose it's a super beautiful really 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 light pink it's so pretty and so freaking pigmented like look at that i'm gonna spread that along the other cheekbone as well and around the head here spread that around and there spread that there okay let's go into now my mascara because we are finally to that point and we are almost done i'm gonna use the it Cosmetics superhero mascara and i'm gonna do two healthy coats of that. Isn't it funny how mascara just brings everything together and makes it look more human? I feel like it really does. So I feel like if you wanted to make this look a little bit more wearable, I mean a little bit, you could just do black liner and that would kind of pull it together a little bit more. It would still be out there, but I'm okay with out there, so I don't really care. Um, but if you wanted to make this a little bit more wearable, you could just like forego the glitter and do some black liner, which would honestly look really, really cool with this too, but I really wanted to tie in that gunmetal color because I thought that it was super cool. Okay, I've got some mascara on. I'm going to go over the top of it with a waterproof mascara, L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. This stuff lasts all day on me and does not make me have any smudging, so that is why I love it so, so much. You're home. I'm not done filming yet. Have you been good? Have you been good? You want to come see my makeup? Yeah. I did opal inspired makeup. Ooh, very pretty. Is it look cool? Yeah. Does it look opaly? Yeah, looks shimmery. Cool. Is it wearable still? Are people going to look at me funny? I mean, yeah, but that's a good thing. <laughs> there you go. Good boyfriend <laughs> answer. Good boyfriend answer. You I've passed. You passed years. for today. <laughs> I've learned what to and what not to say. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You've passed for today. Oh, wow. I get a day pass? Yep. That's Just... 24 times better than the other ones I've gotten. Stop it. <laughs> Ooh, there was something in my eye. Something, something in my eye. It's in my eye. Oh, God. Oh, God. And then for my bottom lashes, same L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara because, again, it doesn't smudge on me. It's a great waterproof mascara. I've not tried the normal formula. But the waterproof formula is good shiz. Okay, the eyes are done. I love the way that they came out. So for my lips, I'm gonna go dark because I did so light on the eyes, even though they are very dramatic. I felt like a nude. I don't know, I was gonna say I felt like a nude wouldn't look good with this, but now I'm kind of thinking I wanna do a pinky nude. I'm gonna do a pinky nude. Let me go get a pinky nude. 
Okay, so we are going to go in with this Maybelline Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner, and this one is in the shade Dusty Rose. So I'm going to go in with this, and then I'm going to put something on top of it. Okay, so then I'm going to go over top of it with the color Alyssa from ColourPop, which is the Kathleen Lights um, collaboration. I'm going to put that on top. So that's a little bit lighter. I'm going to now take some of Pink Heart. It's got a little dusty. Take some of Pink Heart, which is the whitish pink duochrome shade. And I'm just going to pat a little bit of that on the center. Now, I don't know if this is lip safe, so um, if you're worried about that, look it up. <laughs> but I'm not leaving this on for an ultra long period of time. And then you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take a little bit of the U Glow Girl highlighter and just put that just in the very, very center just to get like a nice like white color in the center. Oh shit, that is way more white than I expected. Okay, you guys, I think we are finally done. I am so excited with how this turned out. Again, it's not perfect. I am not a makeup artist, like I said, but I really love the way it turned out. If you can see up close here, you can see, first of all, like the glitter all on my lips, and then you can see just the really pretty, pretty opalescentness of all the colors. I just feel like this actually somewhat represents opal. Like I'm really proud of how I interpreted this. I think that it turned out really cool. So that is everything for my opal inspired look, you guys. I hope you really like it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had fun with me creating this look today. If you did, be sure to show some love to the like button right down there. And if you subscribe, you can be a member of my Muse family and I love you guys so, so much. Thank y'all so much for watching and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye guys.